and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be going over my favorite supplements for hair growth. But before I get into it, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on any future uploads. Really quick, I started my hair growth journey January 2016. I had blonde hair and I was trying to grow it out. Um, so yeah, that was, that was the circumstances surrounding my let's grow our hair movement okay um i went from january 2016 and then i reached mid back length around like 2018 so that was two years of hair growth uh and then after that i actually reached you know my goal of having it at asl or tailbone length or whatever at uh the end of 2020 I had reached that goal. I'm saying all that to say that everybody's hair growth journey looks different. Um, there are different variables at play. I'm a firm believer in having a very strong regimen, but I wanted to share, you know, just some tips and tricks on how I was able to make my hair grow. And maybe that'll serve as an inspiration, you know, to other people. Disclaimer, really quick, really quick. Uh, I'm not a medical professional. I'm not a doctor. I did not do a four year bid at a medical school. So please consult with your doctor or your primary care physician before you start taking supplements that you see in here on the internet. Okay, just wanna let you know, okay. I so I am a firm believer that we need to be healthy to grow hair. We do. So before we get into what makes your hair grow we need to have a multivitamin okay i have a women's multivitamin okay bow like that um this is the ollie brand and i like this one and i always get this one this is just a comprehensive let's make sure that we have all the vitamins and minerals so that we can grow hair let's make sure that any deficiencies that we might have we won't after we take this okay the next thing that i take is iron okay i already know i'm anemic and i have an iron deficiency so i take my iron i take the 65 milligram this is from heb but i also take the theo soul it just depends on if i feel like spending that extra money or not but i have found that the generic H-E-B kind is just as good as the, um, the Theo Soul. So I'm not really, you know, pressed or anything like that. You should definitely consult with your doctor before you, you know, even think about iron. I'm just telling you that that's something that I take because I know that I am anemic. A symptom of anemia, uh, if you're not taking your iron, is hair loss. That's why I included that in the video because when I was in college, I stopped taking my iron after I left home, bleached my hair, and then poof hair is gone okay so you know i definitely have to start back on a regimen taking my iron and remembering to do so even if i get busy between classes and different things like that the next thing i take is hair skin and nails this is the walmart spring valley brand and this is my favorite um i would ordinarily take 5,000 biotin but because it has started giving me the cystic acne and different things like that i no longer take um 5,000 biotin by itself it used to be that 10,000 would give me the uh the acne but now i'm finding that the 5,000 is acting up too so i opted for this if i take three of these and that is the serving size on here i will get the 5,000 milligrams of biotin but i don't have any you know acne issues or anything like that i'm not one for having acne problems that's not me so um i really like this this also has some horsetail extract in it and silica i used to take bamboo silica or bamboo extract or something like that in college you know um and that definitely helped me to grow my hair but i have found since you know all of this is in here i might as well just take this you know trying to reduce the amount of pills that we're taking okay still getting the same result okay so the next thing i take is going to be the msm msm stands for that okay and so this is organic sulfur it's going to help to speed up the hair growth uh cycle but i just find that when i need me a little pick me up or i want to go ahead and get a spark going i'll you know do one 
one pill before bed and then you know work my way up but i'm not really pressed you know anymore because my hair is already long but if you're trying to do it i would say you start at one then work your way up then go cold turkey on it and then start back the process okay and then that will help you out and combine that with your hair skin nails or buy it in five thousand or ten thousand yeah and then you take a women's pill you're in the goal okay the next thing that i was taking but i kind of relaxed on was fenugreek okay i really like fenugreek they say that fenugreek makes your hair grow so i was taking it and i definitely saw results um but that can be debatable because i already take so much like i feel like i take a lot of stuff and is it the fenugreek or is it the regimen i don't know but I have money i'm gonna get it anyway so fenugreek but i chilled out on it because it's high in iron and i already take 65 milligrams of iron and i also take i drink keto chow and it has iron in it too so i don't want to be in a circumstance where i'm taking too much of something so you know sometimes i'll take it sometimes i won't but this is a great addition to your regimen if you are building one okay next thing i take is fiber i don't always eat all of the vegetables you know that i should be um but you know the fiber is going to help me to digest what i am eating um and hopefully provide those added benefits now i have been going in on the one with the b vitamins fiber um but i decided to go and get some fiber just by itself because i already have b vitamins in this my multivitamin and in this so do i really need to be taking all these b vitamins okay i'm trying to reduce the amount because i'm already you know i'm already healthy i don't know if i need that much b vitamins i don't want to have any adverse reactions because i did try nutritional yeast and apparently if you already have a lot of you know b vitamins then if you add it's gonna be <laughs> So you want to make sure that you're not taking too much of something, okay? You don't want to have adverse reactions or uh, symptoms of something because you're taking extra vitamins, okay? Look out for that. So my regimen is basically a multivitamin, my iron, hair, skin, nails, or 5,000 biotin, okay? and then we have msm all right now i also have my fiber whatever okay and so that is what i take on a regular degular all right now fenugreek when i feel like it and then that is my whole shebang as you can see i'll put them in here and you can just kind of see what i take all right and it's just a, a pill container where I keep track of everything I fill in each week or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I take. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and tell me in the comments what supplements do you take for hair growth. Um, I might need to do some research and figure out if i need to add that to my regimen but anyway uh go ahead like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on any future uploads okay bye